Hello my darlings! I'm Alan Alma and this is Folk Tales by Alma. Today I'm going to tell you the dark and rather goth story of the two sisters, also called Binary. This is a traditional Scottish ballad. If you like fairy tales, folklore and mythology, subscribe. Alright, on to our story. Once upon a time, there were two sisters, daughters of a king, who lived in a bower near the mills of Binnery. This was a beautiful, green and shady place that overflowed with flowers and berries in the summertime and sheltered them from the cruel weather in the winter. The two sisters lived quietly together, tending to the garden, reading, sewing and enjoying the peace of the forest. But one day, Sir William, a knight and son of a king, came to woo the elder sister and won her love. He pledged to marry her and to love her always, with a glove and with a ring. This was what was expected of him and the marriage was already arranged. But there came a time when Sir William looked at the younger sister and it was as if his eyes were suddenly open. His love went out to her until Despite all of his promises, he cared no longer about the elder sister. So the elder hated her sister for taking away her love. And as she saw them together, laughing and talking and walking, hatred grew day by day. And she plotted and she planned how to get rid of her younger sister. So one fine summer morning, fair and clear, she said to her sister, let's go and look at the clear waters of Binary. And they went there hand in hand. And when they came to the riverbank, the younger got upon a stone to watch the boats go by and the ducks swim by and to get a better look at the fish. But her older sister, coming up behind her, pushed her into the running mill stream of Binary. Oh, sister, sister, reach me but your hand, the younger sister cried as she floated away. And you shall have half of all that I have or shall get. No, sister, I'll reach you no hand of mine, for I am the heir to all of your land. Shame on me if I touch the hand that has come between me and my own true love. Oh, sister, sister, then reach me your glove, the younger one cried as she floated further away. And you shall have your William again. Sink on said the cruel princess. No hand or glove of mine you'll touch. Sweet William will be all mine when you have sunk beneath the water of Binary. And then she turned and she went back home and was satisfied in her evil. But her younger sister floated down the stream, sometimes swimming, sometimes sinking, until she came near the mill. Now the miller's daughter was preparing a meal that day and she needed some water for her cooking. And as she went to draw it from the stream, she saw something floating towards the mill dam and she called out, Father, father, draw your dam. There's something, a mermaid or a white, white swan that's coming down the stream towards us. So the miller hastened to the dam and he stopped the cruel wheels and then they took out the girl and they laid her on the bank. Fair and beautiful she looked as she lay there. In her golden hair were pearls and precious stones. You could not see her waist for her golden girdle and the golden fringe of her white dress covered her feet. But alas, she had been drowned. She was so beautiful they didn't have the heart to bury her. And as she lay there, a famous harper passed by and saw her beautiful pale face. And though he traveled far away with his music, he never forgot that face. And after many days of travel, he came back to the mill of Binary. But then they had put her to rest and all he could find was white bones and golden hair. So he made a harp of her breastbone, as you do, made the strings from her golden hair and he traveled up the hill from the milldom of Binary until he reached the castle of the king. You see, he was going to play that night. It was the very wedding of the king's daughter and sweet William. And as they were all gathered in the castle hall to listen to the famous harper and join in the celebrations, king and queen, their daughter, their son, sweet William, all the knights and all the ladies of the court, he started to sing. At first, the harper played on his old harp. He made them be joyful, glad, sorrowful, impassioned, just what he was famous for doing. But while he sang, he placed the harp he had made that very day on a stone in the hall. And presently, it began to sing all by itself. And the harper stopped in the middle of his song. Everyone was silent and astonished. And this is what the harp sang. 
O oh, yonder sits my father the king, Benary, O oh, Benary. And yonder sits my mother the queen, By the bonny mill dams of Benary. And yonder stands my brother Hugh, Benary, O oh, Benary. And by him my William, false and true, By the bonny mill dams of Benary. Then even the hardest stone heart softened, And they all wondered, and they were moved and horrified, When the harper told them how he had seen the beautiful princess lying on the bank, And how he had made this harp out of her hair, and out of her bones. And just then the harp started to sing again, loud and clear. And there sits my sister who drowned me by the bonny mildams of Binary. And then the harp snapped and broke and sang no more. Some say that the cruel sister fainted and never woke again. Some say that she was exiled from the kingdom never to return. Some that the drowned princess came back to life when the harp broke, forgave her cruel sister, and life went on. Which is the ending that you like the most? You can tell me down in the comments. So tell me whose side are you on? The elder, cruel sister, the younger sister, William, the weird harper who likes dead people. Fairy tales. And if you enjoyed this story, please do consider subscribing and joining my Patreon to help me make more videos more often. Be careful of strings and uh, see you next time.